Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Ade and you're watching She Slay TV. Now, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, but don't forget to hit the bell so that you're notified each time I upload a new video. Okay, so this wig review is actually sponsored from samsbeauty.com. I've worked with them for years, so they are a well-trusted site. Um, This is the box that the hair came in. And this wig that I'm about to review is actually different. This is a full lace human hair wig. This is called Natural Straight. And I have her in a 24 inch length in the color Natural. So let's get straight to this. Look at this beautiful color. Yes, y'all. Upscale did their thing with this wig. You could put it in a ponytail. You can braid it. Whatever you want to do, you can go ahead and do it because this is a full lace unit. It do come with combs on the inside. And if you go on Sam's Beauty website, they have more pictures, measurements, everything that you need right there on the website. Just in case, you know, you have a particular style in mind and you need to know exactly if it's going to fit you or not. But let me tell you, this wig is super, super stretchy. And for my big old head with all this hair I got, this wig did well for me. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys real quick, you know, how it already comes pre-plucked. Um, I don't have nothing bad to say right now about this. You know, it's not overly done. It's not underdone at all. I'm not even going to go in and try to do anything, to be honest. It's perfectly fine with me. Okay, so as I mentioned, this is a full lace, so you can pretty much part wherever you want to, um, as deep as you want to. Hell, you can part all the way straight down and do two French braids if you want to. It's it's all up to you. Um, I was just trying to show you guys real quick how it looks in terms of density once you do part it. And I feel like it's full realistically you know it's not too much not too heavy but then again it's not too light it's definitely not thin at all i'm actually really really satisfied okay now because the the hairs are laying in the way that it came i do have to use my hot comb so that i can lay it to the side that i plan on wearing it on and y'all know i love my side parts for my big old forehead and um, yeah, I definitely had to, definitely had to use some heat to this unit to lay the hair down because it's not, it's just not going to stay pretty much if, unless you do that. Now I wanted to take my time and do it because, you know, I'm not in no rush and I just wanted to make sure this come out right. I had to add a little bit more hair from the other side because I wanted my part to be a little bit more on the side than where I originally had it. And the same thing that I was doing, I had to do it for these new strands of hair, lay it down as flat as possible by applying heat basically to the roots. And it worked perfectly fine. Okay, so pretty much I am completely satisfied with the way this look right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and start focusing on, you know, myself, you know, getting it ready to throw on. So pretty much all I have up underneath my wig is cornrows. And y'all, this is my first time wearing big old lashes like this. So <laughs> I, I was, I was just wasn't sure, but okay, I like it. Anyway, so y'all know me, I like to take... The simple way out, I like to make sure I do this as quickly as possible. So I'm not trying to do like the whole complete bald head look. I'm just trying to make sure that this cap don't move, this wig don't move, 
and we can get through this review. This is the part where I was checking out how the wig looks with nothing done to it at all. I just pretty much threw it on just to see how it looks, exactly where it falls in place to how I cut the lace. And um, I don't, you know, so far I'm, I'm pleased with what I'm seeing. And um, I'm surprised, like it literally fits me from ear to ear because I really have a huge, huge head and an even bigger forehead. So sometimes a lot of these wigs don't fit me ear to ear, but this one does. So that's definitely a plus for me. Okay, so real quick, what I'm doing is I'm just adding some pressed powder, you know, to the front of my head so I can, you know, blend in that new cap because that new cap is bright. Y'all, these lashes are just looking too funny on me right now. I don't know what y'all think. A lot of people seem to like it on my Facebook, but <laughs> I still got to get used to it. Okay, anyway, back to what I was saying. So I'm just pretty much right in the front, putting my pressed powder so that the wig can, um, you know, match and look like a real scalp underneath and not that bright, bright nude stocking cap. I don't want to see that. That's pretty much why I'm adding the pressed powder. Now, right now what I'm doing I'm tinting the lace. Um, Sam's Beauty do sell lace tint as well. So if you're on their website and want to throw it in the cart, you can go ahead. At first, I was just going to do the part in the front. But I said, why not just do the whole thing? Because who knows what part I'm going to wear it the next time I wear it. Who knows? I might braid it. So I just went ahead and I sprayed as far as the front goes. Every single part place I saw on the front that had um that bright looking lace I just went ahead and sprayed over it it wasn't originally that bad but it definitely wasn't you know my skin complexion so I just went ahead and used the lace tint lace tint is very affordable I mean if you don't have it you can definitely use pressed powder I mean I don't see why not but um, if you do want to get it, it's usually nine dollars or less, depending on what brand you, you know, you're getting. All right, I think I'm starting to go a little bit overboard, but you know, it's addicting. You can't stop. You just keep spraying. <laughs> okay, so this is how it looks at the end of the day. Wow, I am loving that part like you literally can't even tell at all that lace tint came in handy for real oh my goodness i have to give it to the lace tint and in, in, in that one because y'all saw my part earlier and look at it now oh and by the way this 24 inch it's true to length this ain't yeah this ain't one of those wigs where you get the 24 and it comes as a freaking 16 or 20 no, this thing is true to length, so they ain't playing. I was so satisfied with that. Like, I, at first, I thought it was the 26. I had to read, read on the box. And I'm like, oh, I got the 24-inch. So, I am not mad at all. Okay, you guys. So, this is it, pretty much. This is how I wanted to style it, and this is my end result. This is how I'm going to wear it out. I have to give a shout-out to Sam's Beauty. Like I said, I had a long relationship with them. I've been reviewing wigs for them since the beginning of my channel and here they go again sending me another another lovely unit i really really love this one upscale did a great job on this wig and i will leave all the information below in the description that you will need to purchase yourself one of these and yes it is well worth it well well worth it i hope you guys love this review i hope you guys will head out to my channel to check out some more of my lovely reviews and yes don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share don't forget to leave me a comment let me know what you think bye